Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, some of you out there this afternoon seeing a weather phenomenon that we don't see all too terribly often around here. This behind me is what we call grapple. You've probably seen some of this if you've been up there in Mason or Westchester. Basically, if you're wondering what these little pieces of ice are, they're basically snowflakes that have fallen out of the clouds and because temperatures are above freezing as they drop through the atmosphere, they actually collect additional water on them. So those molecules of water kind of collect on those snowflakes as they reach the ground. And if you ever go out and touch it, you'll know Notice it's really soft, so oftentimes it gets the nickname soft hill. But this is what you're seeing accumulating in some areas coming down simply because it is so chilly, unseasonably cold around here for this time of the year. Here's a look at radar tonight. You can see the showers on there because temperatures throughout the atmosphere are so chilly. Occasionally you see a little bit of blue mixing in, and that's indicative of maybe a few wet snowflakes or that grapple like I just showed you in there from some of our viewers. Thanks for tweeting those in to me, by the way, as well. So we've got light rain showers across the metro area, but you head over here towards Wilmington, for example, New Vienna over towards the Wilmington Clarksville area where you see some of this blue mixing in. I can't rule out a few wet snowflakes or maybe a little bit of grapple like we saw there a minute ago. Same story up to the west of Middletown and Trenton. So this just again indicative of the unseasonably cold air that we have in place and this is a mid February, excuse me, mid April afternoon here and temperatures only in the upper 30s out there right now with a few spots in the low 40s. So you know it's going to be a chilly evening and cold night. Jackets and sweaters will be necessary for the start of the weekend around here. So windy with showers this evening, temperatures generally hovering in the upper 30s, close to 40. Look at this wind chills even down into the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. And that's something we're going to deal with not only today, tonight, tomorrow, and probably even into early Saturday. So very gloomy looking skies with off again on again showers. It's 41 at the airport. We've got ourselves a west wind at 16. Very winter like weather pattern. We've got this big spin in the atmosphere. That's what's keeping it awfully cold, but it's going to get reinforcements from another cold front that's going to drop out of the Midwest tomorrow. That could even bring us a few thunderstorms with hail before flurries and maybe a snow shower overnight on Friday. So through the evening hours, showers will taper off by midnight and then we'll deal with mostly cloudy skies overnight. We'll have a little sun tomorrow and I think the first half of the day is dry and then after lunchtime scattered showers and as that cold front approaches, maybe even the threat for a rumble of thunder or two and because the air is so cold, we are more than likely tomorrow to probably see more of that grapple like you've seen this evening or maybe even some actual hailstones during the afternoon and evening before that colder air moves in and we could see a few flurries or snow showers overnight Friday into early Saturday. One thing I didn't show you on here is that tomorrow evening is going to be very windy again. We could have some 40 mile an hour wind gusts with temperatures dropping through the 30s, so it will feel more like February than April. 35 for a low tonight with showers and that chilly breeze, maybe a straight snowflake or two. Tomorrow more showers again. Some of them could have a little hail with them during the afternoon and evening. 48 for an afternoon high. Here's your day planner for your Friday 35 at 8 a.m. Lunchtime up to 44 and then there's your off again on again rain and maybe even a rumble of thunder for the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast down to 29 tomorrow night, but wind chills could be as low as 20 with those gusty winds. And then look at that only 38 on Saturday down to 26 Saturday night. Fortunately, Mike and Sheree, it's that time of the year where these cold snaps don't last too long. We're rebounding back close to 60 by Sunday. So that doesn't excite me for playing golf, but 